just mine. I'm the only person who has this shirt. <laughs> wow, you could do so many things with this shirt. This, this is Orgrim Doomhammer played by Rob Kaczynski. And then when my dad got arrested when he was a young man, this was the plate that he had to hold when, he, when he got arrested. That's badass. <laughs> the best of both worlds. Yeah, little, little, you uh, came up little with shout this? out to my dad. Yeah. I really like that. Well, tell me about your necklace. That's amazing. Uh, that was a gift from my dad a long time ago, too. Oh, very sweet. I like it. So, okay, so we're just going to get into it. I, yes. I have so much Warcraft, and I really wanted this interview to be for the fans. Yes. Because I'll say I'm not as knowledgeable, but I became a fan after seeing it last night. So, when you were working on this, yeah. did you read the forums? Did you pay attention and take anything from what people were saying to bring into production? Oh, I'm a pretty active Twitter user so so I'm I was I'm kind of on there a lot and and I'm aware of the feedback and the concerns and the passion mm -hmm. that fans of Warcraft have um, but as a filmmaker my job is to really deliver something that works for two audiences mm -hmm. one who knows you know, those who know about Warcraft and those who know nothing about it mm -hmm. it's kind of like when Pixar makes a movie and they deliver something for the kids and then for the parents and it's yes. kind of it works on two levels that's what we were trying to do with this now my question for you is directors notoriously are known to be very detail oriented yeah. and especially always kind of like, I don't like that. When did you know this was done? When you said, <laughs> There, there Done. is, I mean, I, I don't know, there's, there's a saying that uh, films don't get finished, they escape. Okay. And, I, and I, think, I think that is certainly true of, of this movie, but I think all movies. Okay. There's always some, just one last thing that you would love to do. And then a week later, it's like, oh no, there's one other thing I would just right. love to do. Especially because so IMAX <laughs> is so large. Yes. I mean, when I yeah. watched it from start to finish, it looks flawless. Yeah. But just for the fans, is there yeah. one or two things you could share that you're like, uh, maybe that I wouldn't no, still work no on? No way I would admit to anything not being perfect. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Even if I would know that there are things I would tweak. <laughs> okay, gotcha. And did you, are you, do you play the game? You... These days, I don't have time. But you used um, to. I used to, I absolutely, right from the very start. The, okay. first, the first game came out 20 years ago and I was there playing those. Okay. And I played them right through. Um, now they've got a game called Hearthstone. I'm not sure if okay. you're familiar with that. It's like a card game. Yes. Which takes less time, less of your time. Okay. So that I'm able to still play. Now, this is a very quick fire round of questions. And yeah. maybe it's not applicable anymore because okay. we haven't played in a long time. Yeah. But we did this um, with Rob and it was okay. Yeah, yeah, well. Rob's so, very good. Very so. quickly, <laughs> yeah. what was the first character that you rolled? Um, would have been a, a, a warrior, a human warrior. Okay, because I don't even know what rolled means. But <laughs> what factors determine your faction choice in game? I used to run a guild for a different game. So there was a group of us online who used to play this other game, and we all kind of moved en masse to World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. And when we did, um, those players couldn't decide whether they wanted to be on the orc sort of horde side or mm -hmm. alliance. So I kind of had a Sophie's Choice moment where I had to decide which 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 team I would go on. But I can't I can't divulge that privileged information. Do you have any areas? of the game that you always return to? Always for the Lion's Pride. And, okay. and it was particularly important because when we came to doing the movie, we got to build the Lion's Pride. Mm -hmm. Live action is a full sort of set that you could walk into. Um, and that, I know, I'm sure Rob had the same experience. Mm -hmm. Going going into places that you've only ever seen kind of from in the game is a is a pretty amazing experience. And admit it, do you read Quest or not? <laughs> <laughs> I do not, I'm sorry. Okay, that's okay. And I just want to very lastly um, comment on the fact that I really like that a woman was, to me, the main lead central heart yeah. of the movie. Yeah. Did you have to fight for that to happen, to be Garona? Really kind of the one spearheading the story? I think I was kind of lucky that I was able to structure it in such a way that it organically made itself logical, the logical choice. Uh -huh. We have these two different groups, the orcs and the humans. Paula's, Paula Patton's character, Garona, is kind of an outcast of one group, finds herself a prisoner of the other, and then leaves that group. So she really is the kind of pivotal, funk, sort of folk of, of this of this uh, of this scenario gotcha. but we also have these two I think really loving and sweet couples on both sides yes. the king King Lane and the his baby wife Lady is Taria so cute. and then Duratan <laughs> and and Draka his wife and their baby on the other side yes. so I think there's so there's decent representation I love I it second one coming out when oh gosh if this one goes well <laughs> soon I Thank hope you so much. <laughs>